Beverly is, um, has been at the credit union for 39 years. She is extremely dedicated. She has uh, touched probably everybody in the credit union in terms of the culture and helped them. She treats everybody the same. She's 100% in your corner. It doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, or nothing ever matters in terms of that. She's right there for you. And when she told me she had my bat, you know, 31 years ago, when she says that, she means it. She uh, made me feel welcome right from the start. Um, and she has with everybody since then. It's kind of amazing. Um, a couple of years later, we found that the credit union was in some serious financial trouble. I talked to Bev, I asked her her advice. She looked at me and she said confidently, Kenny, we can do this. I know we can. She had a confidence in me at 25 years old that I didn't have in myself. And she said she had my back and she has had my back ever since. It's never that employee-boss relationship with Bev. It's never a, you know, I'm answering to somebody else. It's more, hey, let's figure out what the best way to do things is. You know, what can we do to work together to make this, to figure this thing out? And Bev instills that immediately with people. She makes them understand why we do what we do and why it's beneficial. Now it's the best of both worlds. We get to make some, you know, we get to run a business and, and, and make things happen. We also get to help people. Not hand out money, but help people, give them a hand up. Again, Bev is really good at that. She'll, she'll point out to somebody that, you know, there's some things that they can do to help themselves out. So I'd say as far as people helping people, Bev has probably set a lot of people straight on their finances and uh, uh, just by a kind word or a nudge. So she'll leave a, a long-term impression on that credit union. It's, it's her attitude and her positive approach to things are going to be in the fabric of the credit union for many years to come.